it's certainly been a challenging road. Um, taking the path of cornhole is something that only about one in every 500 million people do, and do successfully. On the, along the road, I've suffered a lot of hatred and mockery. Um, I've had many of my individual boards defaced. I've had bags torn into shreds. Um, I've been publicly humiliated, but through it all, I think um, through these challenges and overcoming them, uh, I've become a better man. First off, it's not real easy growing up in uh, Northern Virginia, you know. Um, People just aren't that excited about cornhole. Uh, they really don't. I think it's that they don't understand it. I, one time, actually, I went down to the schoolyard and I was playing cornhole just on my own. And uh, someone ended up opening uh, one of the cornhole bags and they actually, they actually uh, with incredible foresight, planted each kernel in the cornhole bag in my backyard, um, disallowing me from practicing cornhole that upcoming spring, obviously, as there's no place for me to practice in my yard. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely tough, especially in an area like this. Uh, I mean, you get a lot of uh, a lot of anger and, and the impatience, especially with other, with other people, other athletes, I think. I definitely got a lot of hate from the soccer players, especially the field hockey players. They made fun of the way like that I chose my path, and I think it really hurt them that I decided not to go with a contact sport, but a sport that really spoke to my soul. I mean, they they try to they try to take me down with cornhole's not a real sport. You're just tossing a bag, but like it's so much more. There's so much more that goes into it, so. Okay, to all you guys out there who want to be the next great cornhole player, here's what I'd say. Um, be realistic with yourselves. Know that it takes a certain amount of athletic prowess to actually get to the top. Um, so if you're not naturally as gifted, it's okay. Uh, go into announcing, refereeing. Um, unfortunately, there's just a certain amount of athletic talent necessary to being a cornhole championship. But if you think you have it, then give everything you have to cornhole. Um, because it gives itself right back. It gives itself right on back. Well, I would like to say this to all you cornholers out there. Cornhole is more than just chucking a bag of beans on a board. Cornhole is a delicate art. It requires precision, skill, and intensity. And frankly, athleticism too. And me and Patrick are gonna, are gonna bring all of those things to the table and you guys, you guys better be ready. The older cornholers, those who claim to be more experienced, they want they want that position back, and they get scared of us like challenging it. But I mean, it's where we deserve to be. We're just we're greater than they are, and I think last year it proved that. So um, there's really not all that much pressure to me, just seeing as it's where I it's where I'm meant to be. It's where we were meant to be because we won. So. And just making sure, like in the end. You don't choose the game, but it chooses you. And it's just a really important thing to keep in mind. <laughs>